The purpose of this video is to help you to understand the difference between a chem cell or electrochemical cell sensor monitor and a broadband monitor. And what we have put together here is we've got both an electrochemical cell CO discrete monitor and a broadband monitor that are going to be taking samples of the air through a common intake hose and then brought back to each monitor simultaneously to show you what they do and do not respond to. We're going to use first of all a certified concentration of 10 parts per million carbon monoxide and we're going to apply this carbon monoxide to the intake hose and show you the results on both monitors at the same time. We're bringing in a sample of air. You notice that this monitor has gone into alarm already and this monitor now has gone into alarm so both monitors are responding to carbon monoxide and that's what they should be doing. Again, electrochemical cell sensor only understands carbon monoxide. Our broadband monitor understands carbon monoxide and other gases such as oil vapors, hydrocarbons, toxins, paint and solvent fumes, any item that's or a gas that's oxidizable or in layman's terms burnable. Now you see as the pump continues to bring ambient air into the into the systems, this monitor now has gone back into green and this monitor has gone back into the OK mode by eliminating the red light and the beep. Now to further demonstrate we're going to bring into the monitor we're going to bring in some oil vapors which is in this case is in the form of a sharpie pen which is actually giving off hydrocarbons. We're going to give it a little bit of, a, of an intake into our system and again immediately you'll see the broadband monitor has responded to the oil vapors in this case hydrocarbons and the electrochemical cell sensor is doing nothing. OSHA regulations require that not only do we monitor for carbon monoxide of 10 parts per million or greater, but that we also make sure that we have less than 5 milligrams per meter cubed of oil vapor. So this monitor here has just responded to hydrocarbons, which are oil vapors. But to further demonstrate, we're going to go ahead and give just a little bit of an oil uh, vapor. We'll just squeeze a little oil vapor past the intake. We haven't actually put any oil, as you see, in there but it's been given just a little bit of a vapor exposure and again the broadband monitor responds immediately to the oil vapors which again are part of that OSHA requirement and the electrochemical cell sensor remains non-responsive. Safety, safety, safety. Broadband monitor for OSHA compliance for grade D breathable air. There's more than just CO monitoring required to have safe grade D breathable air.